And this is going in the cart right now for only $10. Are you kidding me? Hi, hi. It's Yvonne. I'm out thrifting again. My favorite thing to do. You recognize this one by now, right? The cheapest thrift store in Colorado Springs. New Horizons. Jewelry is right up front, so we started here. And the cashier just told me that they had built a jewelry wall, so I'll go find that in a minute. But, okay, bracelet. I think I'm going to put this in Jeremy's box. I think so. And then this one, yes, I've already shown it to Kate. I messaged her first. It's only $1.99. She likes it. It's cool. She knows what it is. It's got a mark on it. There it is. It's got a mark on it. But um, she said that's okay. She's kind of sticking with uh, the stuff Mike's making her and vintage stuff. And then look at this. Already on a choker. Look at that little vintage piece. So that's what I picked out here so far. Pretty happy about that. So they got some jewelry bags in there. $15. And this is full of, let's see, Miss Me and Rock Revivals. $35 for most of them. The price has come down on that particular style of Miss Me. There's a new style. It's more hippie without the bling. It's more like 60s, 70s hippie. It's kind of what I'm seeing at the buckle now. Alright, let's go find that jewelry wall. Okay, Kate just got back to me because I sent her pictures to give her first dibs. I mean, I was buying it regardless. But uh, it's got a symbol on it. She recognized it anyways. And it just came to her. Carlos Sorbal. So brawl. Okay, I'll pop up pictures. But guess what? This actually is vintage. This is retro vintage from the 90s. And it's worth a little chunk of money. But I still told her, you could have first dibs on that, girl. She said, no, sell it and make some money. And I'm like, no. No way. If you don't want it, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it with the dice thing. I'm going to wear it with the dice bracelet from Mike Wellsworn. He's been making the Inspired by Kate. There's another picture for you guys. And one of them had poker dice blocks. And Sandy got it for me. It cost still like a hundred bucks because the bidding is a little crazy. And then I bought a dice dice one because I was like, well, I need a dice dice one too. And uh, so I bought one for 50 I had to fight for it. <laughs> Anyways, there's the picture, you guys. Well, Swarm is doing this. He started a line. IBK stands for Inspired by Kate. <laughs> Talking about Kate. Follow that bug, of course. All right. Let's see. This is $15 for that. I'm just not, not going to get that. I'm just showing you guys. I might get these, though. Just the Avalon earrings, yeah. Even if just for the pieces. For a dollar ninety-nine. Okay. Let's see what's up in here before I turn around and show you guys the wall. Avon. Clip on so they're cute. Look like Sarah Coventry. I guess they're still working on their new wall. Three ninety nine for a bunch of little bags. Oh, there's some more jewelry bags. Okay, so Gloria, now here I would trust. Okay. This feels like about four pounds, three to four pounds. This is twenty-four ninety-nine. Now, I mean, by the time I hear back from you, today is still Wednesday. This one's nineteen to nine. Today is still Wednesday, the tenth. I just left my booth where I filmed for you guys, but this is a different video. But it's the same day. Now, by the time you see this, it'll be probably not till the eleventh or twelfth. But they might have other jewelry bags. So my point is, Gloria, <laughs> that I wouldn't mind picking you up some of these. You can just let me know. And the next time I'm here, we'll just FaceTime. And you can pick you out. This is probably going to be the best place to get jewelry bags. You know, a better price. All right, let me turn around and show you guys the jewelry wall. All right, ta-da! They used to have food over here. It's at the end of the cash registers by the books. This is actually awesome because we're out of the way. Instead of standing there right when you walk in the door, a bunch of us trying to hover in that little tiny section. So this is actually cool. Look at these little wooden feathers. 
99 cents? Wait a minute, are those 99 cents? Yeah. This is going to be a while to go through. It's a bunch of new imported chokers. They've been doing this packaging for a while because I remember in the 90s going to the Asian importers over in Dallas around the market and there would be like the cheaper Asian importers and they've been using this packaging for a while and it looks kind of yellowy so there's a chance these could actually be 80s and 90s dead stock just saying because the packaging is kind of yellowy yeah and the styles would be pertinent again for today uh-huh that's what I think see this was real popular that kind of those button covers oh I sold so many of those out of our flea market stores. All right, let's see what we have here. That looks like a Chico's. We're gonna bypass this, that stuff. There's a few fun pieces in here. Some chain mail. Not crazy about the bottom beads though. If it was cheap enough, that would be cool to get and just to upcycle. Just because this, this is a lot of work. That's <laughs> weird. Like, yeah. It just got stuck on your sleeve. It did. That's interesting. Is that a piece of walnut and a feather? Delicate little chain. That's probably gold plated. Little cat eye. There's some chunky stuff. Some shell stuff. I gotta get this off of here. What is that? Rolled up papers. It's interesting. It's just for something unique, conversation piece. I wouldn't say it's worth a whole lot of money or anything. I might peek at clothing and stuff, but first we're going to do hard goods. Here we are. Not a whole lot on the shelves. Let's back up. Transfer. That horse is transferred on there. Dang, a lot of horse stuff. They're actually pretty. Oh. Taped together. James Houtman for Cyprus. Three ninety nine for two. Those are actually pretty. Bird Rock. Yeah. Slim Pickens on the shelf. Okay, let's see you little angel. Little cone dolls. These are not handmade. <laughs> be fun to be upcycled. I think I better pass on those. Wall sconces. They kind of got. A little vintagey vibe. Two ninety nine. Yeah, those have eighties vibe. Flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. There we go. Artwork. Well, I'm in the wrong direction for you guys. Hang on. Kind of just looking at frames and stuff, you know. Yeah, I think I'll move on. Kind of tell by the frames. Oh my gosh. This is what we made a fortune on. These Mylar prints in the 80s and 90s. Ah. Let's try this aisle. They're not fully stocked on the shelves. Could be it's time to do inventory. Or it could just be short-handed. <laughs> People sick. If you're not sick, consider yourself one of the lucky ones. Lots of furniture though. Oh. 
This could not be any more 80s, 90s. Oh, even the vase. Yeah, even the vase. Those were redone. That Art Deco style, those were redone in the 80s, 90s. Furniture. Woo. They've got some really good pieces. Like that gray one, still nice and fresh, and they just cleaned it. It's only $85. And let me turn around. Here's a big set for only $300. Recliners, big theater set. Ooh, eh. And something I'm getting. This is going in the cart right now for only $10. Are you kidding me? Giving me IKEA vibes. Look at that. All mirrored, all the shelves. Very good quality. I mean, it's hard to even get open. 20 bucks. Yes. That is going to be my new jewelry case in my dressing room. I could barely get that in the car. It is so heavy, so quality and sturdy, and yes, it is an Ikea, the tags down there. So my husband will have to help me with that because that's going to take some special bolts into the wall. Anyway, since there wasn't a lot in hard goods, I thought we'd enjoy a little bit of clothing since they're nice and quiet. Look at this vintage, retro vintage, casual corner, cropped blazer, leather. It is only $14.99. It looks like no one even wore it because see the elbows aren't stretched out and it's not all creased here on the inside either. Dang, that's a good deal. If I was ready to tackle clothing again, I would probably go in the cart. But let me deal with the clothing that I already have. Let's not be crazy, right? <laughs> I already have too much. There's always something to buy. Don't need to get all crazy. Buy everything all at once. There's always going to be something. T-shirts. So I'm just looking at fabrics. I know fabric colors that I don't want to wear that aren't really trending or if it's all pilly. And plus, you can kind of look at stitching and see some quality pieces you just kind of get that for a while or what hasn't been overly washed just how i do it looking for myself that was like a pajama top <laughs> so there's some sequins it doesn't feel vintage no it's got the cold shoulder so that's a repop of the cold shoulder that we did oh my gosh what 20 30 years ago Well, that looks vintage. Not in very good shape at the bottom. This little ski thing with <laughs> the belt. Classic motorcycle cut. Let's see this with the beads on it. Nope. That was it. That was all the wow factor. It's just that right there. So when I do go back into clothing later this year, I've got other projects that take precedent. I'm gonna have to re-up myself on like what's popular. Cause like when I was selling a lot of clothing, like this was a good brand. AG, how do you say that? A uh, gosh, Adriana. Okay, see I can't even remember how to say it. What's that? It's a miss, no, that is a miss me. Yeah, there's, I know that there's certain miss me's. I usually just stick with like Levi's and things like that. But there are some high-end jean brands that sometimes you get lucky and can find in the thrift store so I'll have to reacquaint myself with what's popular I think it was Paige, Hudson, Joe's Jeans, things like that that the Poshmark girls were just loving to buy but I don't know what's going on <laughs> I'll figure it out though, it's not that hard it is really not that hard to you know go see what's of course American Eagle is always a staple the deal with American Eagle, these look like men's actually is they, the way they're constructed, they make your butt look good. It's like they butt lift their pants. That's why American Eagle is so popular. Besides that they're at the mall and they're cheap. and Not cheap. They're affordable. Sorry. They're affordable. Not like, you know, going to the buckle and having to pay like 150 or more. And of course, I'm open. 
I'm open to um, vintage jeans too. Now, the reason I'm looking at these is I noticed on Cher's Christmas album and a couple other runway celebrities, I think Billie Eilish too, they were wearing these big wide leg pants again. So, you know, they're the ones that are fashion forward and are setting the trends. So, you know, that's kind of one of the places that you look, the red carpet and what all the celebrities, you got to watch the music videos. Yeah, these remind me of Jinko. Okay, hang on, let me check that label. There's no name on this. So I'm thinking these are probably, you know, fast fashion since they're kind of going to trend again. I think I already talked about it. These are seven. Yeah, those used to be something. Seven for all mankind, something like that. Stetson, that's a classic for Western. That's probably still good at the Western stores. I'll pop in there too when I'm ready to get those back out. <laughs> it's like a apple bottom or baby fat. I don't know if that's going to come back. But American Eagle is always a good seller. But you know, you're not going to get a lot because they're not super expensive. But they will sell consistently. Oh, that's, that was a brand. Yes. Bill, uh, Pilcro and Letterpress, if I remember saying it right. That was a brand that would sell consistently. I kind of like those too. I'm super picky personally about the back pockets. That's a whole other video. How to buy jeans that are flattering. You can't just buy jeans just because it says, oh, this is this brand and I want to wear this brand. If they're not made for your body style, you'd be better off not to do it. <laughs> but that's a whole other video, how to pick jeans that are right for your body. I kind of like those. 29, yeah, I could wear those. How much are those? <laughs> are they stretchy? Because now that I'm older, if things don't stretch, forget about it. I'm all about the comfort. Not as much of a fashion horse as I used to be when I was younger. Now I'm all about comfort. Some fun magazines. Flea Market. Find it, use it, love it, collect and display like a pro. No, there's quite a few in there. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. Let's see what one looks like. First, what year is this? Printed in USA. Where's the year? Oh, this is 2018. Just get inspiration. Do not copy exactly. Just get inspiration. This is going to lean into a lot of shabby chic, isn't it? I like that one. I'd like to go there whenever the weather settles down. Those would be fun to kind of go through. They're only 48 cents a piece. Boho style. <laughs> Country samplers boho style. Color crush. Okay, you guys. I'm pretty happy. Like, I could not be happier with especially that bracelet. And then this Ikea piece. I could not be happier. So, I don't have a lot. But it is good stuff. So, I hope you had a little bit of fun. And I will talk to you later.